Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I know it has been a while since I uploaded my most recent video. <laughs> now in this video, it's going to be a quick overview of a tool called Lazy Trivi, created by one of my co-workers at Acro Security, Owen. And Lazy Trivi is basically a wrapper around Trivi. Now Trivi is an all-in-one security scanner and one of the main scans that it does are container image scans. Now it scans your container images for vulnerabilities as well as for any exposed secrets that might be in those container images. The thing is with any new CLI tool, you will have to learn how to use it. There is some onboarding curve in some format. Now, the thing is, once you get started with Trivi, all of the commands are structured in the same way. So then it's pretty straightforward. However, you might just want to scan the container images that you have locally, that you might have in your Docker Hub, that you might want to use remotely, but you don't want to actually have the complexity of using a new tool. And that's exactly what Lazy Trivi is really handy for right because you don't have to use a new cli tool it's just one command lazy trivi and then you just navigate with the arrow keys let me show you how to do that so this is the repository lazy trivi by owen uh, he created it <laughs> as a fun project kind of in his free time now he's also the creator of our docker hub extension so if you're using docker hub check that out now lazy trivi is just one command and then you can use lazy trivi I will show you in a second how. Uh, the installation is with Go really, really easy. That's how I did it. Now you can also download the binary from the releases. That's another option. And once you have it, it's just one command, lazy trivi. Now in this video, I'm keeping the terminal small because <laughs> the screen that you're going to see in a second, once I type lazy trivi, is going to be here. And now we can go ahead and we can scan one of my container images. So you can see I have a bunch of different container images from my own uh, Docker Hub repository registry, container registry. And then I have several ones related to Aqua, for example, for the Docker extension for Trivi um, that uses a container image as well. And then for Docker or Kubernetes in Docker um, that you get with the Docker Hub. It also has several different container images that it uses to run that um, Kubernetes cluster in Docker. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to check this React example 0 0.0.3. I'm just going to press enter and then it's going to scan it. I don't want to scan all of the images because that might take some time. Now, again, below you can see here all of the different commands. You can press enter or scan for scan, like S for scan. And then you can scan all with A. Uh, you can scan remote images with R. We're going to do it in a second as well. And then with I, you can uh, refresh images, T for terminate the scan and Q for quit. Let's try that out, Q for quit. Okay, let's open it up again and let's scan this container image. And as you can see here, it's now performing a scan, but actually of a different container image than the, the one I wanted to scan. So let's maybe terminate because that was probably from a different scan before. So let's try again. Now it's gonna go ahead and it scans the other one. I wonder why that is. So let's see once it completes the scan. So it's scanning insecure two right now, which is this image above here. And that's like with all of those different tools. I mean, the ones that I'm showing particularly on my channel, um, <laughs> they don't always work like expected. Now I'm a bit lazy. I'm not going to wait for the scan result, but, uh, do check it out. I might have it confused earlier, the tool with too many different scans and then terminating the scans. So it's, it doesn't want to show right now. It's taking some time to scan and show the result. Um, so I'm definitely going to feed that back, feed back. <laughs> feed that back. Uh, give feedback to Owen about uh, about my experience. Now, while this is still scanning, you can also scan remote images. You just press R, and then you can type in the image that you want to scan. For example, Note Alpine nineteen eighteen Alpine three point fifteen. Let's see if it can scan that. 
Now, Lazy Trivi is actually based on other tools such as Lazy Git, Lazy Docker uh, by Chess Duffield. I hope I pronounced his name, their name right. Um, yeah, so Lazy Docker is a similar tool. It has a similar uh, UI where you can basically use Docker versus, like through the tool versus through the CLI. Every CLI, again, requires you to get started uh, with new commands and understand how it works. Some CLI tools are very easy to use, others are more difficult. But do check out maybe Lazy Docker and Lazy Git as well if you're interested. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for upcoming videos. Below in the description is the link to the repository Lazy Trivi. Make sure to check that out and maybe check out Lazy Docker and other lazy tools by, uh, by Chess and other people. Uh, I hope to see you in one of my upcoming videos. Have an amazing day. Bye bye.